last session we have seen how to get access to SAP Business Apple Studio. If you haven't yet checked out, you can check out on fearux.in homepage. So in this we have discussed about how to create an SAP account and uh, we have discussed as well how to get access to Cloud Foundry account and how to get ourselves enable BS as well. So in this today's session we will talk about how to use OData services which we created. So we have also seen how to create ES5 account as well. So in this session we will talk about how to create a Fury element your our first Fury application. So which is low code approach. So we're going to consume one of the OData service and build one application. So finally our output will be today. We're going to use consume an OData service from ES5 and we're going to run an application as as this way so as you can see this is a list report and uh, I'm going to search for the business partner ID and it filters based on the filter ID given over there so this is a low code approach where based on the direct templates we have created this output so let's uh, understand how we have built this application using BAS so first and foremost you need to have your, your destination created in your cloud foundry account so go to your cloud cockpit account which is cloud uh, which we have bookmarked as mentioned in previous uh, session then you need to click on your trial account and then come to your on the left side you'll find the area called option called connectivity under connectivity select destination so once you are at the destination tab this is the place where we are going to uh, configure our ES5 OData system for consuming in your BAS so in this case if you are using the first time select new destination to create a new entry right now i'm going to show you how i have created one entry so click on edit option and all you need to give is a name for your system which you are going to consume so in our case it is esy system select type as http and then give a description in this case i have given as sap gateway then just note that we need we need not to give the complete odata service in this case just give the prefix which is which ends at dot com esy system dot dev center dot com then select proxy type of in internet and select authentication as basic authentication so we have lots of other options where single sign on etc but in this case we are going to stick to basic authentication so you uh, make a note that the user id which we are going to provide is not that of uh, cloud foundry account but this is of esy system so we have created esy system access in your previous video so we are going to use the same username and password so further we need to add a couple of other additional properties so select new property and keep adding these following entries as shown below so you can find this entries description in our comment box so select html5 as html5 dynamic destination and set it to true and client as your esp system client in our case esp system has a client of 002 select sap platform as abap and though we are using bas still the properties of web id enabled are applicable so right now in order to consume odata service in bas we need to enable following three parameters set I enable to true and system to gateway and usage as odata underscore abap so once you have done this do check this default jdk store as uh, option then you can save this entry the moment you save this entry we have successfully created an entry so right now all we need to do is we need to check whether the connections and parameters which were given are true or not so for this case we need, would be selecting check connection ignore the message called the, you know it's getting redirected but all we need to check is the connection to ESY is established or not so this confirms that the co connection to the ESY system is successfully created so we are done with the setup so this is only the one-time activity which we are going to do now all the OData services which you are available in ESY can be consumed for our Fury application development so let's jump into BAS now so now we are going to access so in the previous video we have seen how to enable and create dev spaces so once we have created a dev space now whenever we are using it so we can start a service now in this case i have started this service so the moment we start the service once it shows as running we can select the fury ux in this case the dev space created for the purpose of building applications so if you are not familiar with creating dev spaces you can check out the previous video where we have explained how to create this particular dev space now on clicking this it will lead us to bas uh, window this is our id which where we are going to build our ufi application so we have discussed about uh, one more area so where we are going to use a git repository github in order to publish the application so to check out this particular uh, git repository you can 
go to uh, you can check the comment section where i have i will, I will be sharing this github url where you can directly copy this particular uh, git repository code and you can directly pull out as well so if you're going to use the github location you can have to select clone from git and you have to give the url so this would automatically pull out the code and you can check it out yourself as well so right now let's see how to start from the beginning so in this case instead of git we are going to create a fresh project so after login select start from template as an option in this video as we are discussed we are going to follow the low code approach nothing but fury elements so in order to build a fury elements application we have lots of other applications so it shows us multi-target adaptation and fury application so in this case select sap fury application as the option click on start and this would prompt us with two options freestyle approach and element based approach so in next video we are going to discuss about login page how to create a login page in ufi and using freestyle approach in this session let's concentrate on low code approach that is fury elements application for the first time bas would take a little bit of time in order to install all the plugins which we have created using dev space but on the subsequent times you should see a relatively easy easy to access right now it prompts us to select the type of application fury elements or freestyle elements applications do not require any coding so they are based on generated based on odata service annotations so we are going to follow this particular fury elements in this particular video so it prompts us to offer the template in this case list report worklist analyt analytical list page are couple of templates which are ready made which are provided by the sap now let's select list report as the option now it prompts us to select the service which we wanted to link and fetch the data as we have in the previous step we have already configured the destination in cloud foundry now the moment we select connect to odata service it has it would fetch all the odata services which are available so let's see so in this case we can pick one odata service so you can you can check out the bookmark over here so So it prompts you to uh, if it prompts you to log in, you can just use your ESV credentials. I'm going to just pick this particular sample service which is available on the ESV system. Just copy paste the URL and it asks you to enter the service username and password. So give your ESV credentials. So in this case, we are going to connect to our ESV system and the credentials uh, needs to be provided. So I'm going to copy my credentials. Let me use uh, credentials. If you have created multiple uh, accounts, please make sure that you are going to use the right credentials out there. So the moment you see, you need to press this particular uh, person person icon in order to sign in. So this will, if successful, the next button would be enabled automatically this ensures that we have successfully um, you know connected to the esv system now it prompts us all the services which are available in the esv system so in this case let's select one of the entry called sales order set under navigation entity we can select two business partner as a association so now we have successfully provided the entity out of the sample service select next and in this case under module you can give a name as we are building out the html for applications we can give it as fury element app and you can give as name as list report and namespace so make sure to uh, keep the namespace unique in this case i'm going to provide as ux because in order in order to run an application we need to use the namespace as well 
So for this case, we are going to deploy it as a standalone application. So I'm not going to touch the launchpad configuration. We are going to select finish option. So wait for a couple of uh, minutes in order for the dependencies to be created. So once it is successfully created, we'll see the fury elements available on the left side of our panel. So now it show, says that project has been created. So in order to run this application, right click on the project called fury elements and click on preview application. This would prompt us with three options, whether to run locally or whether to run with mock data. If you would like to test with, with if you haven't configured the ES5 system, then you can try mock option. So it will create automatically some random data. But as we wanted to test the application using the ES5 live data, so in this case, select start fury run as a first option. Now the moment it runs, so it prompts for you to provide the credentials as we have created as basic authentication each and every time we, we know we, we have to give the credentials for the backend system as well. So in our case, it is ESV system. So you give the credentials which you have previously selected. So make sure that while it prompts for a username password, do not use your cloud phone records. It, the credentials which it prompts for is of ESV system, so backend system where we are going to read the data. So it is taking a couple of time. So I'm going to wait for a couple of more minutes. So for it to fetch the data. See, if you are stuck with any of the steps, you can always uh, pull out this particular code and select clone option and you can straight away run the application. The moment we run this, so it should take us to this particular screen where it will, you know, load the data. 